everyone, this is Steve Bishop from ProgrammingMadeEasy.com and of course, Gartman Technical Services at GartmanTechnical.com. So this video I wanted to put together as a little helpful video for those of you who are wanting to find out answers to questions. You know, you have some problem that you're having an issue maybe with your database or your application, you're trying to understand a concept or something like that. I kind of wanted to give you some tips and some little helpful hints about how you can maybe ask your questions to be more likely to get a response, as well as some helpful resources where you can go in order to maybe find out some of the information yourself, okay? So first and foremost, I wanna kind of go through some of the questions that I've, I've noticed and they're, they're kind of a trend, they're kind of how I typically get questions. Sometimes I get really awesome questions, sometimes I get these kind of questions. And I'm not picking on anybody, I'm not trying to, you know, to pull anybody out and say, this guy or this gal did a really terrible job. That, that's not the point of this. I really just want to help you guys figure out the best way to go about learning how to develop and, and how to ask the questions the right way so that you can most likely get those answers, okay? So the first one, I've got an example here um, from Jayathi, I believe is the way you pronounce the name. It says, hi, Steve, I am watching your videos. They are very helpful. Well, thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad that they're helpful uh, and I, I it's always funny because whenever I get these questions where somebody wants help, inevitably somebody's gonna say, thank you, I love your videos, which is great, I, I love that. Uh, I just find it kind of funny that we always, before we're about to ask something, we always like to throw on a little nicety to start with to let them know, hey, we really appreciate what you're doing, but can you help me with this? Anyway, so uh, Jalathi says, hi Steve, I'm watching your videos, they're very helpful. I have got a doubt in your video 40 on do command. Employee form layout is different from your video of how to build a form. Please help me on how to design that form. So I have to say the the thing that that about this particular comment that I want to point out is that the whole goal of this video series is to teach you how to think for yourself. Okay, it's not for me to show you and demonstrate step by step how to do exactly what you want to do. Okay, otherwise that's that's not learning. You don't gain any actual wisdom or knowledge by by just, you know, imitating everything that I do or taking the work files that I provide and just copying and pasting that. Yes, part of what we do in our, you know, as a developer is find someone else who wrote the code and copy and paste that into our situation, but you, you get those code examples so that you can understand how something works and then you learn how to modify it. You, you change it, you alter it to match up your situation. And that's what you have to do. You have to take the examples that I give you, look at them, modify them to fit your needs. That's the goal of this series. That's why I built the channel. It's not to tell, to tell you guys step-by-step step how to do exactly what you guys need to do. So please watch the series. And if you have to watch the videos over and over again until you learn the concepts and you do it and practice it, you've got to apply what you've learned. You can't just sit there and watch. You've got to open up access. You've got to start doodling around, make your own forms, build your own code, do your own reports, do your own queries. Just do it. Don't just watch it, do it. That is how you are going to learn. And then you won't need to ask questions like this because you'll know it, you'll be able to figure it out on your own. And that is the whole point for the, so that you guys know how to do these things yourself, okay? So really there's not much that I can tell Jayathi in this, in this particular case. I'm, I can't tell him, okay, well, step one, go open up uh, you know, the, the design tab. Step two, drag and drop a text box. You know, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I've already done that as an example demonstration now it's up to you to go take that knowledge that you've learned and start applying it, okay? So the next one, this one comes from Fiseha. Uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, I apologize. Uh, Hi Steve, please help me out. I copy everything like you did, but when I enter the wrong username, it works fine, but, under, but when I enter the correct username and click on login, it opens up. Here's the code below. I have been asked this question, and in particular, this usually pops up on video 56, which is my how to create a login, a classic login form. And the funny thing is, is that I have answered this question, I'd say at least 40 times, okay? Yes, there's a bug, okay? There's a bug in video 56. There are comments, there is a uh, description, 
It's fixed in the work videos. There is, I have annotations on that video. There's like so many different resources to, to solve this particular problem, this bug. So here's the point. Do your research, right? Just, just do, don't, you're asking the same question multiple people have already asked. So that right there is likely to get a little bit of attitude from me. And I apologize. I really shouldn't have an attitude about it. I'm here to be helpful, but it's really frustrating when I've already answered the question multiple, multiple, multiple times. And other people have answered the question multiple times. And there's annotations, multiple of multiple annotations. There's work files that have the, the problem fixed in it. It's like, the resources are right there in front of you. All you have to do is look. And that that drives me nuts and causes the attitude. And I apologize, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm only human, but please do the investigation before you just go off and say, hey, I'm having a problem, here's my code. Uh, <laughs> at least look to see if somebody else has already had that problem and then how to fix it, okay? Because the chances are, Especially with it when it's a bug like that, somebody's already found it and probably already posted the solution, which in this particular case they did. So just be sure you're checking it out, okay? Another one, uh, thanks Steve, my username is not pulling through, here's the code I'm using. Okay, I have to ask the question, what do you mean a username is not pulling through? I the the question needs to be much more direct okay i am trying to get the username into my the code is not viewing it the the, v, the vba is not able to to pull the username here are some of the things i've tried uh i'm trying to get the tech the username to my other form uh, i'm trying to get into attempt vars what is it you're trying to do i don't understand what you mean by pull through Okay, it's sort of like if I have my car and I have, I, I take my car down to the mechanic and I say, my car won't go. Uh, okay, can you be a bit more descriptive about what the problem is? Because if, if you're not more descriptive to about what the problem is to the mechanic, they're either going to have to spend a bunch of time figuring out what it is you meant, or they're just going to say, look, until you tell me exactly what's going on, I'm, I'm not going to waste my time. Okay, they need to know more specifics. What do you mean it's not working? Um, and I can't spend a whole bunch of time asking a bunch of questions of you guys to try to pull out and extract the pieces of information I need in order to answer your question. Sometimes I can, if it's a really interesting question, you know, if it's a real interesting problem, I might, you know, try to get a bit more information. But just having this general not pulling through, I don't understand what that means. I, I Please be more descriptive with your question about what exactly it is you're trying to do and how it's not working, okay? That's the only way that I can answer something specific to your particular problem. If I don't have your database in front of me, even this little bit of code that, that's posted up here by William, it's not enough for me to understand. There's more context to what's going on with this problem than just that. I don't see the form. I don't know what's in the form. I don't even know that the form exists. I don't know that the text box exists for the username. Um, I don't know, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe the database is corrupted. Maybe he hasn't compiled it. There's any number of reasons why something might be going wrong, but I don't know nearly enough information about this particular problem to be able to answer his question. And it would take me a lot of work and effort to try to get that information, get those little nuggets of, of information from him. So. I can't really answer this question. I, I, I can't, there's not nearly enough information to do that. And I don't, I simply don't have time. I don't, I don't have the kind of time. I work full-time job. I also study on the side for more of this stuff so that I can present, you know, new information to you guys. I do some studying. I don't have the kind of time to, to really dig down and try to get this information from you guys. So please, the, the point that I'm making here about Williams Post is be more descriptive. Be very descriptive, be very exact with your with your language because otherwise this archaic question is too difficult for me to answer okay so again i'm not trying to pick on anybody i'm not trying to pick on you william i'm sorry if you feel that way uh i'm really not i just this is just a really good example of how even though there's a lot of detail in this message you know including the code right the code is very well detailed and, and that's always helpful i don't understand the problem 
Okay, I, I don't get the problem. So let's move on to the next one here. Rashid Imtiaz. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Again, I'm terrible with names. I don't know. Please, if you, Steve, can help with creating a relationship between tables. I am stuck right there for weeks now. Um, again, I, I don't know. Um, if you watch the, city, the, vi the video series maybe a few times, maybe I haven't even gotten to that concept yet. Maybe, maybe there's more to it. Um, I really tried to go over relationships with, date, with tables. I didn't go over it in a whole great amount of detail, but I tried to give you the basic concepts of, you know, joining tables and, and how they're, you know, the one-to-one, -one, the many-to-many -many relationships and how to set them up. Um, so I, I thought that I was complete enough to instruct you guys on how to do that kind of thing. But again, it takes practice. You can't just watch videos and know how to do it. So um, this almost feels like you should really try to help yourself a little bit here. Um, I understand you're stuck right there for weeks now. You've been working on stuff, but creating relationships between tables, the only way that I could possibly help you out is to have like a one-on-one -on -one session with you so that I can understand what the problem is that you're having and how what, what exactly it is that you're stuck on, right? There's nothing in here that tells me what are you stuck with? What is the concept that you don't understand? Um, if maybe you were a bit more specific, like, I don't understand how the many-to-many -many relationships are supposed to work. I don't understand how you related addresses to customers. Something specific that I can answer would be very helpful. This is, again, just such a general topic, and it feels like if you just did a bit more homework, maybe you'd either be able to articulate your question a bit better, or you'd find out the answer yourself. And that, again, is the whole point of this channel, is that you guys should be able to help yourself. I don't want to be the guy that spends hours just trying to answer your, your particular problem with your particular database because then I can't get my work done and I feel like I'm not really teaching you guys anything because I'm having to tell you how to do everything, which is I could, I'm fine with doing that. Right. If you're going to pay me, <laughs> if you're going to pay me for my time, which I do, I do pay for that. You know, I got people that that. I, you know, that buy lessons from me, that buy my time. Uh, and we spend hours on the phone talking about these things and I teach them, you know, how to go through and develop things. But that's a costly measure. And I don't think that the majority of you guys are looking for that kind of one-on-one -on -one time um, that you're willing to pay for. And I don't really have a bunch of time to do that as far as, you know, with you guys online. Every once in a while, I'll do a live broadcast where you guys can ask me those kind of questions. But when it comes to your particular database and fixing your your issues, I'm going to need to remote into your system and see your database, and we can work on it together, and we can talk about how to fix things. And that's something I have to charge for. I have to. I, I work for a company that that's what we do, and if I did that for free, then... I would be actually, you know, going against my my company. I would be competing against my company, even if I was offering it for free. I I have signed a no a non compete, and I have to charge for the time that I spend to do that kind of thing. So just be aware, if you have some particular problem that you want more training on, that's possible. I can do that, but I am you're going to have to sign up with an agreement with us for us to, to provide you some training, okay? So anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the last one here. Hi, please help me. I want to copy a record from table to table when I click a button or check a checkbox. Can I do that? And this one, um, well, Ham, uh, first of all, the video was on if statements. Okay, so the question doesn't even have anything to do with this if statements. Uh, copy record from table to table when I click a button or check a box. Can I do that? Well, obviously you can do that. But this is, again, uh, this is one of those questions that's like, have you watched the series? Have you, have you gone through everything? Because the whole point of the lesson series is to teach you all of the skills and tools that you need in order to be able to do, the, to, to do these things yourself, okay? I cannot spend a whole bunch of time focusing on a particular problem like this and showing you exactly how to do something. Sometimes these are good questions. Sometimes, 
you know, I want to learn how to copy a table, you know, from, a, from another table, copy a record from a table to a table. If I hadn't already done some videos on how to do stuff like that, then I would certainly want to jump on that. I would want to say, okay, that's a great idea for a video. But in this particular case, I've already done the videos. They, they're already there. You just have to watch them. You just have to go through the series. Chances are, with questions like this, I've already done all the legwork for you guys to show you how to do this stuff. If you just watch the videos and learn it and practice it and do it, then you'll be able to do this and you won't even have to ask the question, right? You'll just be able to do it. And that's the point. Again, that's the point of the whole channel is to teach you guys how to do these things. So, okay, enough ranting about all the problems that you guys have had and all the, you know, I, I again, I feel bad because I know some of you guys are probably going to feel like I've selectively pulled you guys out and said, uh, don't do that. But that's not the point of this video. I really just want to give you guys some examples of how not to ask the questions because it just makes it, there's no way for me to answer that, right? There's no way for me to answer a question that comes across like that. So here's some resources that you can go to aside from my channel. Obviously, I would love it if you came and watched all my videos. I would love it if you came and watched them repeatedly. I'd love it if you create your own, um, you know, create your own um, um one of my playlists, right? You know, make your own playlists of your favorite videos and stuff that you found really interesting and helpful. Do that, you know, make your own playlist of, of some of my videos. It also helps me when you guys do that because it actually catalogs it as a whole new playlist with YouTube. Um, and, you know, the more playlists that my videos are in, the actual higher the rankings. So it's helpful to me when you guys actually add it as a playlist. Uh, anyway, so the first one is probably the most obvious you can go to support.office.com and you can type in just about anything, right? You can ask all sorts of questions on any one of these different Office products. And then here's access, here's access help, how to get started, creating forms, using expressions, watching tutorials. So they have some tutorials about creating your first database and, you know, so access 2013 videos and tutorials. So there's some stuff that's on here right off the Office uh, support website, you know, support.office.com. That's some really good information. Uh, and if you haven't already watched these, you know, you can watch my series and probably pick up just about everything that's in here. But sometimes it's really helpful to hear someone else explain it and someone else do it. And they're also going to do it in different ways than I do. So sometimes you're going to pick up on some key concepts uh, just by going through and doing that. The next thing I want to point out is a really wonderful forum that I really kind of started on. I haven't participated too much in this, but I, I did do a lot of help early on um, with accessforums.net. Uh, these guys are wonderful, and I promote them tremendously. They are a fantastic group of people who are very, very knowledgeable with access. One of the most knowledgeable groups I've, I've ever seen when it comes to access. If you sign up and go to this forum, accessforums.net, sign up, log in, go to the specific section of where your issue is and just post up your question and somebody will, will either point you to a, a thread that already answered that question or they'll give you the answer. And they will go so far as if you have a database that, you know, if you're, you have a very specific database problem, you can post up a mock part of your database. They don't, you don't really want to include your data with it, right? You just kind of want to maybe post up your form with, you know, clear out some of the data that's in your database or copy it and then clear out the data so that they can get an example of your database. They'll actually take your database, open it up, look at it, work on it, figure out what's wrong with it, and then give you the answer. It, so that kind of support is available. Okay. You don't have to ask me. It's right here. If you just go to accessforums.net, Again, some really helpful people, especially June Orange. Um, uh, the other one. Um, oh, come on. I've forgotten the other person's name. I, I'm sure I'd find it if I looked through here. Um, but anyway, just this is a really, really great resource. Go here, accessforms.net. And there's some other forums like accessforms.net that, you know, you can do some similar things. But these are the only guys that I know of that don't mind if you post up a copy of your database for them to review. Uh, that happens all the time. Okay, the other one is also kind of obvious. I'm sure you guys get Stack Overflow all the time. Um, Stack Overflow is kind of the go-to resource for questions and answers. 
Now, the one thing I don't really like about Stack Overflow is the negativity you tend to get if you don't, if you're not perfect in the way that you ask your question or answer questions. So it kind of, I understand they want to maintain standards. Um, and that's really important. Maintaining a standard for your questions and answers is really, really important. And so I get the whole upvoting, downvoting, but there tends to be a bit of a, a negative vibe with a lot of people. And, and oftentimes it's not, you know, the, the answers that you get are sometimes so over the top specific, uh, or technical that you're like, whoa, that didn't really answer my, I mean, you may have answered my question, but I don't understand it. I don't understand your question, your, your answer. So Stack Overflow is great. It really is. Trust me. It's, it's my go-to resource when I am looking for some of those really hard technical issues. I have a really difficult problem. This is where I go. Okay. So that's, that's my biggest, um, you know, that's the biggest place I go for the, like the VBA stuff. If I don't understand a particular VBA problem or I've forgotten something, or if I'm looking for some code to do stuff, uh, typically I'm going to find it in Stack Overflow or I'll find it somewhere on GitHub as a gist or something like that. Or, I mean, not, yeah, GitHub as a gist. So Stack Overflow is great. Definitely highly recommend it for your technical, like really highly technical questions that you're trying to find an answer to. And then last but not least is good old fashioned Google. Uh, I, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to just going to say this as kind of a blanket statement. If you have a question, you have a problem and you aren't spending at least 30 minutes researching that issue by searching on Google or Stack Overflow, then you're, you're wasting everybody else's time. Okay. Because again, the chances are your question has already been answered somewhere and Google is the place to go to find it. You just have to figure out what's the right sequence of keywords. What, what's a good way to ask my question. Um, and you know, just think about what is the specific keywords that I am looking for. And don't forget, you can use quotation marks, you know, to type something very specific in. So like, um, VB access VBA, you know, and, and that will only pull up the results where access VBA, those two words combined actually appear in the result. Um, so if we did something like oh, VBA Excel file, so there you go, there's access.-programmers.co.uk, which is another really good forum that I do go to, uh, a lot to, to try to find answers and ask questions and stuff. So that's what, um, that's where I'm going to stop, uh, as far as the helpful stuff. If you guys have any questions and, you know, any clarity, clarifying things that you want to know, please drop them in the comment section below this video. I'll be happy to answer that for you. Uh, and if you have your own suggestion, places that you like to go, um, you know, maybe a website that you go to that you find very helpful, or if you have some formatting questions, some, uh, or, you know, a way that maybe like a template of how you like to ask questions, please feel free to, to drop those comments in the comment section below this video so that other people can read that and find more help. Okay. That's the goal of this channel is to be helpful. And I just spent like, you know, what the last 20 minutes talking about all the ways not to do something. So I feel kind of bad. Uh, I just really want you guys to, to know how it is that you can ask a question and really get a good appropriate answer. But before you even ask your question, do this, go to Google, do a 30 minute search. Uh, you know, usually I typically find my results within the like first like five minutes, right? You really should be able to find your results pretty quickly. Um, but just do the, do the research before you ask the question. Because typically, even if you don't find the answer, what you'll find is that by doing the, the search yourself and, and spending the time to try to figure out the best way to get the answer from doing the search, you'll actually learn more about how you even want to ask your question. You'll, you'll start to figure out some of the key words of, okay, I want to learn more about this particular concept. So I'm going to make sure I emphasize that keyword in the way that I phrase my question. So anyway, that's, I'm going to leave it there. That's, that's where I'm going to stop for right now. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Uh, if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you liked it. If you didn't like it and you felt, gosh, you guys, you just singled out all these people. You're such an ass. Uh, hit the thumbs down button. I don't really care. It's fine. I, I get it. Sometimes people don't like me, whatever. But if you are going to hit the thumbs down button, 
do me a favor, tell me in the comments why. Just, just tell me why. Why didn't you like the video? It's very helpful. I hate it when people give me the thumbs down and don't tell me why. It's like, okay, I get that you don't like it, but why? Maybe I can make it better, something I need to do better. So anyway, thank you again so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.